Should you get a credit card if you're an Uber driver, Lyft driver, rideshare driver in general? 100% yes. I have talked about this in a few different videos, whether it's, you know, getting, like say, cash back in terms of getting gas on the Lyft driver app or in other situations. But this is a big way to pretty much get toward it super simply and jumping right into it. I hate, I hate YouTubers that ramble on too much. You get free stuff because you're spending money you have to spend anyway. When it comes to being a driver, this is one of those unfortunate things compared to like say a lot of other jobs, depending on who you look at it, there's a lot of pros when it comes to driving for Uber and Lyft and other ride train companies and a lot of cons. And one big con is in a sense, you do have to spend money to make money. And the biggest way in terms of you spending money, ignoring like say the, the depreciation on your car, the random items you may need to buy as an Uber driver and as, as a Lyft driver, ignoring you know the maintenance on your car again these are all things you do have to pay for the biggest thing is gas even if you drive an electric vehicle like a tesla for example you still have to pay to charge it up right so a hundred percent it's 100 percent inevitable you will have to charge your vehicle and fill it up whether it's with gas or electricity or whatever some type of battery doesn't matter in order to continue driving for uber and left the more that you drive the more money you're gonna have to spend in gas and filling up your tank it's kind of unfortunate and it's kind of annoying, right? Especially with gas prices continuing to fluctuate. And this is why I suggest getting a, getting a credit card to a lot of drivers. Now, I have to say, I have to say this, I'm a former accountant, but I'm not your accountant, right? So there are some people, and I've said this before, but I'll say it super quick, who probably shouldn't get a credit card where they see that $5,000 limit and they're like, ooh, five grand. They go out and spend four grand Next thing they know, they're in a ton of debt and they're trying to pay it off. Because remember, credit card companies do make money from the interest, meaning you don't pay off your full bill. They charge you interest. That's how they make money. But if you're smart and responsible, and I feel like for the most part, when it comes to credit cards, I like to say most people are, at least I hope, they are a very, very valuable tool for two main reasons. And especially for rideshare drivers, these two reasons. One, improving your credit, right? As you can imagine, you get a credit card, you charge, let's say, uh, ironically, you get charged for, let's say, charging up your vehicle, whether it's with gas or electricity or whatever, and you then immediately pay that off with actual cash that you have in your bank account, right? So what happens is, is that helps improve your credit. This is great, let's say, if you want to buy a car in the future, if, like, if you're looking to get a mortgage. Having good credit <clears throat> is, of course, super important in general. But the second big one, especially for drivers, is getting free stuff. Because as you can imagine, when you get a credit card, and you then pay it off, you usually get some type of perk, unless you get a really bad credit card. And I do suggest, I could do an entire video dedicated just for credit cards, maybe I will. There's a bunch of different perks, it also depends on what you're interested in, what you wanna go for. There's a, a million different perks out there for just paying it off. And if you have to buy gas anyway, my biggest thing is, well, why not get extra free stuff on top of that and try to combine this with other offers? Because there are three types of credit cards, I think, that would be very useful for drivers, depending on what you're going for. First is a gas credit card. I just talked about this in a previous video because, uh, you know, when it comes to the Lyft driver app, you could actually get cash back. It fluctuates between one cent a gallon to 25 cents per gallon. So again, it's not mind blowing, but that's on the Lyft driver app when it comes to uh, cash back on gas. However, if you get a gas credit card, so a credit card very specific to a gas chain, you might get a lot of cash back just from using that credit card and potentially a lot of discounts, right? This can add up a lot. And with gas being your biggest expense, biggest expense, especially if you're driving full time and you're really putting in those miles, this can be a great way to pretty much save a lot of money or make a lot depending on how you look at it. You have to buy gas anyway. So that's the first one I suggest. The second one is a traveling credit card for two different reasons. One, you get miles. So let's say if you do like traveling, like for me, I love traveling and I have the American Airlines credit card, right? So if you like traveling, of course you get the miles, you get free flights as a result. It's kind of like flying 101 or getting a credit card 101. Most people know about the miles. But the second big thing when it comes to a traveling credit card is a lot of them also have features when it comes to gas. There's one, for example, I think I was looking at uh, when I was doing research for this video, is the AAA traveling credit card, you get, I think it's like 5% cash back on gas. Meaning if you spend a hundred dollars, like say at the gas station, you get five bucks. That's actually a lot. Like 5% cash back when it comes to gas 
is pretty ridiculous. And a lot of cards have some type of deal like this when it comes to gas specifically. And I noticed some of the best ones are traveling credit cards, but do some research. Maybe there's one given your situation with your bank, or maybe you find one online that's of course reputable and you know it's it has all these perks that you really, really want. A lot of credit cards, I find especially traveling ones, because obviously gas does get involved with traveling to an extent, they're really, really good to get more money in a sense or get free money for what you're buying anyway. And that's a big thing when it comes to Uber and Lyft. You have to buy gas no matter what. So to me, I'd much rather not pay with cash or use a debit card or have it come out of my bank account, which is actually what I used to do, you know, because at the time when I first started, I was like, you know what? I don't want a credit card. I was so against it. I don't know why back in the day. And then I got a credit card and I was like, wait, why was I not doing this earlier? I'm getting so many free perks because I have to buy this gas anyway. And this is going to be a recurring theme. I'm going to say throughout this video, I have to buy gas anyway. Why not get free stuff on top of it? Where, whether it's miles, whether I get a gas credit card, et cetera, et cetera. And then the third type of credit card, I'm going to say for a lot of drivers, and this is one that is going to be a bit vague. But is that, and that is like a generalized credit card. So let's say you're like, Mark, I'm not gonna lie, there's no, the gas chains in my area don't really have their own gas credit card. Or the second thing is you're like, yeah, I don't, I'm not much of a traveler. I don't really fly, the miles don't appeal to me. And I don't really see any credit card that gets specific, a high amount or percentage of cash back when it comes to gas. I then suggest just look for a general one, right? Just look for one that at least gives you some type of perks, right? Because you could maybe stumble upon a really good deal with a Citibank card or a Chase card or a Bank of America ones. Although I will say, I used to have a Bank of America credit card and I actually ended it. It was the, the, the offers that I got were atrocious. So no offense, Bank of America, worst credit cards. Maybe they change it now, I don't know. Um, but let's say you just find a general credit card, right? Or big pro tip, go to your bank. So let's say you do have Chase Bank. If let's say you already have Citibank or Schwab or any of these other ones. Go to them and say, hey, do you happen to have a credit card? What are the perks? Because a lot of companies, I will say, like say that do banking, like say you already have a checking account with them. Not only will you have a debit card, typically, that links to your checking account, but also check on a credit card. Super, super easy and seamless. So you get that credit card. You're getting all these perks. Like a lot of them have percentage on cash back when it comes to just in general, some purchases. Some of them also say, hey, you know, we'll give you extra on like gas or grocery. So like, I remember one I saw said like, it was like 1% in general, you get cash back 2% on like, I think gas and groceries or no, it was gas and maintenance on your car or something like that. And you get 3% cash back on groceries and going out to restaurants. So they had different tiers. At the end of the day, this is all free money. And when it comes to this aspect, like I keep bringing up, of spending money you have to spend anyway. This is true, actually being honest, not just for Lyft and Uber, but anything in general. If you are involved in any job that is almost inevitable that you have to spend money in order to make money, the perks you can get are absolutely insane. When I used to be an accountant and I got paid to drive out to client site because I was doing what's something called auditing, which is reviewing companies' financial records, I put all that stuff in my credit card and I got a ton of perks as a result of it, right? Um, when it comes to, um, if let's say you are, take me as a DJ, there's been some times I have to go to like say um, a gig, of course, and I have to travel. Sometimes that includes a flight, a bus, a car, an Uber, whatever, basically some means of transportation. Well, hey, any means of transportation that's also covered by the client, as in the nightclub or the manager or agent, the person I'm talking to, well, hey, you know, I might as well pay for it. They reimburse me. And because I spent $200 and they give me the $200 back, although that breaks even, it technically doesn't because I use a credit card to pay for it and I get perks as a result. I just really wanted to say this and, and drive this point home on this video because I know Uber and, Lyft's not, Uber and Lyft's not been the best. And I know a lot of people are saying, oh, you know, we're, we're getting paid way less than ever before. It's super unfortunate. I think having a credit card can really help you out a lot. One, like I said, just get more free stuff. Is this going to be the type of thing that's going to be break in the bank in terms of how much money you're making and, and perks? Probably not, but it can still help. The second thing though, and this is a big one, is to improve your credit. Because like say you are renting a car through Uber and Lyft, I know a big thing when it comes to renting is your credit score, right? The better your credit score is, the easier and cheaper it might be to rent a vehicle, right? Because of course, banks, if you're a low credit score, are gonna be like, eh, 
We don't know if we can trust if we're going to get our money back or when we're going to get our money back. We're going to charge them more just in case, right? So if you have a higher credit score, this can help you potentially even get a car. This can help you in a lot of other future situations. And so though this video is both like half ride your advice and half like life advice, if anything, as long as you're safe and as long as you're responsible, I say to everyone, if you can, definitely have a credit card as it helps out a tremendous amount.